So I've opened the DJI Battery Killer software. The first thing I want to do is I want to select my device. I know this is it here. When I select it, it tells me it's my CP2112. Uh, I then hit the connect button. I need to change this to the chip I'm using. Uh, in this case, the BQ30Z55. And I always just read the info. That tells me what's going on. It gives me my voltages of the batteries. You can see them here at the bottom. Um, it tells me um, whether the chip is actually sealed, in which case it is. Um, and it gives me other information about the BMS and the battery. So the first thing you want to do is read the registries. Now there is a lot of red here. It's not all bad. Um, the one we're looking at is this PF, which is permanent failure. The PF flag is set for a couple of conditions. One is if you lose power to the battery. Now, some of the red items here are red because basically that's disabled. So if we look at this SEC1 and SEC0, they're related to the battery being sealed or if you um, are in full authentication mode. They will go green when some of those things are active very similar with some of the other stuff. So there's stuff in relation to charging and things like that because the battery currently isn't being charged. Those things show up as red because it's not being charged. So we can read the chip, but with the connection's fine. The next thing we want to do is we want to try and unseal the chip. Now, if I click the unseal button, as we can see, it didn't work because the chip is still sealed. One way to get around this is if I come down to the unseal section and this will let me change the keys for these various different functions. So I'm going to change the unseal key. I'm going to change the full access key and I'm gonna change the authentication as well. I'm then gonna hit the full access button and I'm going to come and I'm going to read the info again. And now we see that the chip is in FAS. So what that means is it's been unsealed. So if we jump in and we read the registers, what you'll notice is SEC1 is now green, which means that the chip is unsealed. So let's just jump back to the log again so we can see what's going on. If we run the clear PF, uh, and that believes it worked because it said that it wrote it okay. If we go back and read the registers again, what we see is that PF is now cleared. So what we want to do from here is we want to seal the battery. I'm just going to read it one last time. Everything looks good. It's uh, Battery sealed, if we look at the registry, that PF flag is still good. Um, so what we should be able to do is this battery will now be able to be turned on, it'll be able to be charged, um, all those sorts of things. So that's one way that you can fix this problem where you can't unseal the battery. It's fairly straightforward. You just do it through that software and it'll all work fine. I'm yet to find a battery where it does not work. Hope that helps.